It's a Wednesday, October 9th. I'm at Lake Aloha, and uh, I'll give you an update. Probably the windiest night I've ever spent outside. Um, and the gusts had to have been 60, maybe 80 miles per hour. I can't wait to find out. My tent inverted uh, at one point and popped back out. I'm very impressed with the tent. It's an expensive tent. I mean, you can get more expensive, but uh, I'll get back to that. Um, right now, it's just a breeze. It's really nothing compared to what it was. Anyway, um, I got to Echo Lakes from Big Meadows on Saturday, and there was nowhere to camp at all. For six miles, I did not know any of this. So I had to either climb up a mountain, I just came down, I was exhausted. It was about 6.30, about to get dark. So I ended up, um, tried to hitch, no one gave me a ride. Just asked a few people, but um, got an Uber, I had one bar on my phone, got an Uber, stayed at the Aspen Inn, some motel. It's like 60 bucks, 80 bucks with tax, California tax, it's ridiculous. Um, it's actually pretty nice for the price, it's because it's off season. But, was there Saturday night, got in at 7.30, went and got a bite to eat at 8.30, slept all day Sunday, probably till 5. I was going to leave on Monday, woke up, just exhausted, my body's just torn up after five days of hiking and so um i stayed another night and i slept monday again i went and did laundry series of just ridiculous things that weren't going right for me seemed to happen but got back and slept again all afternoon got up and watched uh let's see monday watched the game um, pretty uneventful, San Francisco and the Colts, I think. Um, I know it was the Browns. And so, I did that. Uh, got back on the trail yesterday, late. Um, slept in, and, uh, I was glad I stayed. I, yeah, a lot of things, uh had to uh, get done anyway last night so I got to Aloha Lakes it's only about six and a half seven miles I got in and it's a little strange there's no trees around it's all rocks basically I'm surrounded by a kind of a really rocky regime regime um, uh, terror whatever area and uh, the wind last night, it woke me up probably 10 times, blowing so hard, can't believe this tent didn't snap in half. Again, it's a quality tent, um, but it was unbelievable. I can't wait to see <clears throat> how fast those winds were actually moving. And thankfully, there's no trees around, because there's got to be trees down all over the place. I, I mean, the wind was unreal. So again, impressed with the tent, um, cold, it's around 6.30, 6.45 on Wednesday. I'm going to snug back into my uh, bag here for another hour or two, because I'm not getting that. The wind's really nothing right now compared to what it was, but um, yeah, I don't really feel like hiking until at least the sun comes out. It's got to get over the mountain. Other than that, things are going well. Um, I decided to get rid of my some extra weight, my stove, fuel canister, things like that. Just too much. I had way too much in my bag, and it felt so great yesterday hiking without all that extra gear. Sent that back to my friend Cider in Denver. Glad I did. Um, still have all my real warm weather gear. Thankfully, because it was cold. Um, a lot warmer in the tent, but in the sleeping bag, but it was cold. Anyhow, that's about all I got. Gonna try to get over um, 
uh, Dick's Pass today, and that's going to be a nice climb. And then try to get to lower ground because it's going to be in the single digits tonight. Um, I just hope the wind is nothing like it was last night. I can't imagine it would be. Um, but that's about all I got. Thanks.